Hello, in this video I will show you how I made this business card dispenser. I will show you how it was designed in Fusion 360 and sliced in Kira. Then I will 3D print and assemble it. In Fusion 360, I started by creating a whole box using a series of sketches and extrudes. Once the box is made, a slot is cut into it for the cards to slide in and out of. Then a slot and hole are cut into the top to give room for you to pull the cards out easily. This is where I designed a thin curved spring that could be 3D printed. I decided to make springs out of aluminum instead. For some finishing touches, I ended up filling in some chamfers. Next, I added a plane that I could use to slice the model into top piece and bottom piece. I originally wanted to cut a slot in the top and bottom faces for a wood veneer inlay, but decided to just pattern these areas with a support in Kira. I made this stencil for cutting a wood veneer inlay, but did not use it.
In Chira, I use mostly standard settings. 0.2 millimeter layer height and 20 percent infill. We'll show you the special support setting in a moment. In the support settings, you have to enable the support interface settings. Make sure the support's distance is set to zero, then set the support interface thickness to the depth of your inlay. Check your print preview to make sure it has been sliced correctly. You can also change the pattern and infill person to the support interface for different patterns. Then send it to the printer. I use Krillity Under 3 printers and a roll of Poly Terra Marble Slide Gray PLA filament. Now let's assemble this thing. First, I folded some springs out of the aluminum cards. After the springs are made, do a test fit to make sure the springs are tensioned correctly. Make adjustments as needed. And it's time to super glue the top on. Try to use as little super glue as possible.
Mine did not line up perfectly, but that's all right. Now the business card dispenser is complete. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you thought about it in the comments.